Mom told me to apologize for bop, 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 bop. Mom told me to tell you that I'm sorry, right? What does that sound like? What's up? How you doing? Welcome back to A Moment of Clarity with yours truly, Aaron Thompson. Got my question again. Did you bring somebody with you? Listen, we'll talk about it here in a little bit. Here's what I want to jump into. I want to jump into this idea of compliance versus commitment. And what brings me to this is how we see some things happen. Let me, let me just tell a story again. Maybe you're not like me, but I used to get in trouble, do some things wrong to my younger brother, younger sister, and I didn't like it. I thought I was right. You know, as the oldest, you always think that you're right, right? So I thought I was right. And my mom used to say, hey, go apologize to your brother. Go apologize to your sister. And you can leave me out here if you want to, but I know I'm not the only one that went and apologized to their brother or sister and said this. Mom told me to apologize for bop, 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 bop. Mom told me to tell you that I'm sorry, right? What does that sound like? That sounds like a compliance apology because I was just trying to do it so I didn't get any get in any further trouble as opposed to being committed and saying, hey, I'm sorry I did that to you. You know something, I was wrong for doing that to you. See, you can already hear it sounds and it feels different. So the question I want to ask you, there's goals that you're aspiring to. There's aspirations that you have. Are you committed to these? Are you just trying to be compliant because people are telling you to? And here's what I would tell you. Please don't do something out of compliance because it's going to land hollow or empty on the person you're trying to involve. Case in point, if you don't want to hold your significant other's hand, don't just grab it because you say it's the right thing to do for me to hold her hand. You know, she's been telling me this the whole time, right? I ain't got that issue. But if that's why you're doing it, they're going to feel that energy. They're going to feel like you don't really want to do it. As opposed to being committed, like, you know something, man, I'm feeling you today. Girl, let me touch you. Let me hold your hand, right? We got to bring that same level of excitement or passion or commitment when we think through business, when we think through anything that we do in life. Are you committed? Or are you just doing it out of compliance? Are you the person that maybe you've been doing really well in your life and you're actually only going to volunteer because your job makes you do it or it's part of a program or you're trying to do something and not feel like an outsider as opposed to you're looking for options to volunteer, to serve, to give back because it's a passion or commitment of your internal compass. Are you going through life compliantly or are you committed? Are you committed to success? Are you committed to making the relationships around you better? Are you committed to the goal that you have in front of you to say that this gets done by this time? Or are you just trying to do it and kind of go through the motions? See, that's what compliance is. It's checking the box. It's just going through the motions. And here's the thing. Nobody believes that you believe it when you're just being compliant. You ain't fooling nobody. But when you're committed, people understand that they want it, that you're going to get it done no matter what. That this is something that's important to you, whether it's your relationships, it's your business, it's a goal. When people feel your commitment, they want to follow commitment. They want to jump on board with somebody who's going someplace and believes they're going to get there. That's what we're missing. Like right now, we're having an opportunity where people are being civil to each other out of compliance because it's socially acceptable as opposed to just simply being kind. Are you committed? And so I want you to think about that today. Am I going through today? Have I been going through my life, my job? Have I been engaging my customers or my relationships out of compliance or commitment? Because when you're committed, people feel it. When you're committed, your creativity shows up. When you're committed, you're better. 
Things around you are better, they're more exciting, there's more passion, there's more enjoyment, and who doesn't wanna be around committed people? Well, listen, here's what I want you to do as we wrap up this edition of A Moment of Clarity. As always, make sure you tell a neighbor or a friend, don't you, don't you be selfish and share it, but share it, like it, subscribe to it, turn on the notifications. But in the comments, here's what I wanna know. What are you committed to? What are you committed to that actually has you excited, that has your creativity out, that people around you can feel it? What are you committed to? And if you're not committed to something that you're super passionate about, then hey, let's, let's talk about that and see what we might be able to help each other out. Because remember, we are in this together. And as long as we are in this together, I know that we're gonna get better together. So until next time, I'm Aaron Thomason. This has been a moment of clarity and I look forward to talking to you then.